Hi, my name is Lizette from Yimfluence, and in this video, I'm gonna take you through a small 10 minute sequence to release any stress and anxiety, um, to get it out of your system, and to relax and ground back down your body and strength. So let's get started. It's good to wear something comfortable. Um, and make sure that you are warm enough as we are staying in the poses for a longer period of time. So it's quite important that you are not very cold as we're, we're not uh, going to use our muscles in this practice. At least we're not targeting our muscles. <laughs> so let's get started. We're gonna start off in a child's pose, bringing our big toes together, spreading your knees wide. You can keep them close together for a more yin-like version, but if it feels better on the hips, you can widen your knees as well. So big toes together, and from here, you're gonna slide your arms forwards, placing your forehead down on the mat, or you could use a bolster, which is also very, can be very nice in child's pose. You can also use pillows from your sofa, a blanket, basically anything that you can rest your upper body on. Just make sure that you are comfortable really sinking into this resting pose. Child's pose is really allowing us to seek stillness within ourselves to observe what is going on inside our bodies while we are mildly stretching the ligaments along our spine. You could feel a gentle opening in your hip area. There should be no real effort in this pose. It should feel comfortable, relaxing, See if you can focus on your breath here. The breath going in and out of your nose. Maybe you can try to deepen your breath. Extending the inhales. And then hold your breath at the top. And then extending your exhales. Keep a little pause before you breathe in again. Making sure that you are safe. Sinking into this moment in your body. Using your breath as a tool. And if any thoughts arise, just let them be. Just observe them. Don't judge. It's very normal if we take these moments of stillness during our day that thoughts starting to pop in. Just observe them and gently bring your focus back to your breath without paying much attention to your thoughts. You might start to feel some sensations in your legs. We are holding the energy in this area now as we sink deeper in the bows. See 
See if you can send some breath there. Allowing this little moment of stillness. This little moment of nothing. On your next out breath, you gently walk your hands back towards your body, keeping the head heavy, removing the support, and come lay down on your back. Make sure to have a blanket close by or your pillow that you used in child's pose, and come lay down on your back for a little bit for a little rebound. And just breathe here. Feel your body laying on the earth, on your mat. And just scan your body. The legs might feel nice and warm. Maybe you felt the, the release of compression in your stomachal area. Or maybe you feel this release of fresh, fresh oxygen in your brain. As we were falling forward. Relax the jaw, the forehead, the tongue. And just sigh it out. For our next pose, you slowly come onto your forearms and grab your support, placing it in between your shoulder blades, but make sure the support is not under the neck. So the neck is free, the head is dropping back. So you get this really nice opening in your throat, chest, and shoulders. As we are compressing our shoulder blades, you feel this release, you feel this opening in this supported fish pose. So make sure the support is not underneath your lower back and not underneath your neck. So your shoulders should be free it should be really in between your shoulder blades, then you're good. So you really feel this compression of the shoulder blades, allowing the shoulders to open the chest. And breathe here. You can fold your legs into a butterfly shape, placing the soles of the feet together. Or you can just extend your legs here. So see whatever serves your body. If you like a butterfly shape with your legs, you can support your knees as well with pillows. And then allow the hands to softly sink, the arms sinking down onto the ground. A real nice counter pose if you sit behind your desk a lot, behind the keyboard. Allow our front body to open. Giving space to our heart. And maybe you can visualize the color green here. This color belongs to our heart chakra, the Anahata. The color green. And maybe you can visualize, if you like, this bright 
vibrant green color filling up your chest and really allow your facial muscles to relax your jaw your tongue, your forehead. Relaxing the hands, the feet. while we allow our hearts to open. With every in-breath, you visualize this green color filling up your entire upper body. And with every out-breath, you visualize that you let go of everything that is no longer serving you. All of your thoughts, your stresses, your worries. And you might even sigh it out if you're alone or in a group and you're comfortable enough. Just sigh it out. Now let this color of green fill your entire body, not only your upper body, but your legs, your feet, let it fill you up. On your next out breath, you gently turn onto your right side, very slowly, removing the support from underneath, and come lay down on your back for a little recap, a rebound. Observing our body again. You might feel a little change in your shoulder and chest area. Maybe you feel this relief, this light-hearted relief. Gently roll onto your side, whatever side feels good, and come up to a seated position. Whatever's comfortable, cross-legged, or you can put some support underneath your sit bones. As it's good to elevate our hips while we sit, that they're higher than the knees, protecting our knees. So make sure that you sit comfortable. On the in-breath, you're going to bring your arms upwards. And then twist to your left, placing the right hand on the outside of the left knee and placing your left hand back behind you. Turn your gaze to your left for as far as you can go. Really twisting, feeling this opening, twisting the right side of our body. See it again, observe 
where you feel any tension left in your body. If there's any resistance in your body. So we are wringing out our spine. We're actually working on our flexibility. Increasing our spinal movement. But by twisting, we're also detoxing our body. Releasing toxins. Getting rid of toxins. Increasing our blood flow in our abdominal area. And just sit here for our last moments in stillness. And gently Bring your body back to the middle after your next out breath. Observing the difference between sides. And then on the in breath, bringing your arms upwards again and twisting towards your right, placing the left hand on the outside of your right knee, placing your right hand back behind you, turning your gaze towards the right behind your right shoulder. And as we are sitting here in this twist, you might want to set an intention for the rest of your day, reminding you of why you took this little break for yourself. Setting a reminder of how important it is to take these little moments in between our daily tasks to reflect, to refill, to create harmony within our minds and bodies. And on your next out breath, you gently come back to the middle changing the crossing of your legs to even out the body and just sit here for a little while for as long as you have the time thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope to see you again soon thank you and namaste